Hi! Today we're going to try to, I'm going to show you how to make two super simple foraging toys and then we're going to have Red, who is a red-bellied parrot, try them out for us. So if you have a bird who doesn't play with toys a lot or is very new to foraging, these are two toys that may help. Um, the first toy that we're going to put together is with balsa wood. Balsa wood is a very, very soft wood. It is almost like paper. And it is very easy for them to shred. The one thing with balsa wood, though, is you have to make sure that it hasn't been treated with anything. So I only get balsa wood that um, I, from bird-friendly places. This actually came from the California Bird Nerds. So what we're going to do is it's um, a pre-made toy part, so it's got a hole already drilled. I know that Red likes almonds, so I'm going to take this almond and cut it in half um, lengthwise. And I'm just going to take half of it and just push it right into the hole. I also know Red likes sunflower seeds. Now, sunflower seeds, I normally would not give a lot of sunflower seeds to any bird because they are very high in fat and low in nutritional value. However, we just want to encourage him to start shredding wood and playing. So I'm going to take these sunflower seeds, and the balsa wood is actually so soft that on the pointier end of the sunflower seed, I can actually just kind of push it right into the wood. Um, and you can leave it sticking out at whatever level you want. And it's okay if you break the little shell off. The seed is inside um, the end of the shell. I'm going to push two in on this side. And I'm going to push one in on the other side. And then within just a matter of a few seconds here, we have a foraging toy for him to try out. The other one is just with a 3-ounce Dixie cup. Now, I only use the 3-ounce Dixie cups for this um, because they don't have the thick wax that is on the, um, like the 5-ounce Dixie cups and the larger ones. So they're better and safer for birds to shred. So if you have a bird that has never gotten use a Dixie cup for foraging before, I would put a favorite treat in it, but leave it wide open and just let them retrieve it from it um, for a few days. Red has already done that for about a week now, so we're ready to take it to the next level. So he also likes Nutriberries, so I am just going to take a Nutriberry and put it in the Dixie cup and twist it. And now you either have a foot toy or you can hang it um, between the bars and it can stay put that way. So you have um, a versatile, very easy, quick to make toy. So now let's see how Red likes these. You get the almond out of the center of it.